welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Keisha if you guys are new here. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you guys my makeup collection. Hopefully I can give you guys some new tips and tricks on how to store your makeup. I do want to show you guys how I store my makeup, what I use to store my makeup, what I use to clean my makeup brushes, and then I also wanted to include where I got my furniture from. So if some of you guys are interested in that, I will let you know throughout the video. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video, especially if this is something that you guys enjoy watching, just so that I know. You guys might think this is a lot and some of you might think that this isn't a lot at all. If you are a makeup collector, I do tend to hoard things. Just keeping that in mind, I know everything's probably, like there's probably some things that are super old, but I just like to keep them because I bought them, I love the packaging. But anyways, let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start off by showing you my vanity and makeup storage. So this is my vanity with the lights turned on. Obviously at nighttime, it looks a lot better when the daylight's not hitting the room. So I did wanna show you with um, without the daylight. So I'll start off on this side here. I'll just let you know where the big furniture is from and then we'll go into my makeup storage. So this has 10 drawers in this unit and I got it from Michaels. This one is from Amazon. I actually was trying to look for something that would go under my desk just for extra storage and I did want it to match the bigger one. So I was looking and I, I came across that one. So for my mirror, it's kind of like a DIY situation. I actually got these lights from um, Ikea and there are four lights. There are strip lights. I put one on the top here, one on the side, the bottom, and then the side there. And then my mirror I got from HomeSense. I absolutely love HomeSense. I even got this small mirror from there as well. These jars where I keep my makeup brushes, I got these actually from the dollar store as well as these little crystal rocks as well that I used to store them. And then this one, I used to have four cups of those and I used to keep my makeup brushes in there, but honestly it was way too small so I just started keeping my lip pencils and then those lip holders I actually got those from the dollar store they're three separate ones this acrylic box here that I used to store my lipsticks I got that from Amazon and then I use a lot of these acrylic containers and they're all from the dollar store and if you guys are interested in knowing this flower vase is from Ikea so my table is from Ikea and my chair is from Ikea and that garbage is just, I always keep a garbage beside my vanity because this can get so messy. It's good to have a garbage really close by. But yeah, this garbage is just from the dollar store if any of you guys are wondering. And then I also have this uh, container. I believe it is from... I think it was when we had Target here in Vancouver. I store some of my favorite palettes on there because they're so pretty. But yeah, this is the whole outside of my vanity, the furniture and all that. All right, let's jump into this piece here and I'll just run through what's in all of these drawers here. So in this drawer, this one I didn't really know what to do. So there's a couple things I like to store in here. If you guys are Sephora buyers, you know that they give free samples when you order stuff. So I have a lot of little perfume samples, some curl cream. I don't have curly hair, so I don't use this one. And then like an extra mascara because I always want mascara. And then I also keep like some jewelry that I don't know how to store. So I just keep it in these little boxes. It is pretty dusty actually, if you guys are noticing that, sorry. Um, I got this little storage container from Michaels. So yeah, that's just what I keep in this drawer here. Okay, so in this drawer here, I just keep my cuticle cutter here for nails, um, nail filer, um, some more nail filers, Sephora mirrors, some makeup sponges, brand new makeup sponges I guess I wanted to try out. And then I have old ones that I that haven't went bad, but they still work. Cotton pads here, some baby powder. Ooh, she's not cute, she needs to get cleaned. This is just for nails again. I'll keep that there. Um, some more cotton pads. And then these are face shavers. I got like a huge bag off Amazon. And then I also have an extra eyelash glue in here as well. That is what's in this drawer here. In this one, I have my lashes. I have my two favorite lashes here. So they're the number ones from Kiss and then also the number 11s from Kiss as well. These used to be the old number ones. So you're gonna notice like a huge difference. But yeah, the old ones, thank God they upgraded because these ones were bad. And I have some Ardell lashes in the back, some dramatic avant-garde looking lashes here in the back. And then I have some bottom lashes here as well. Some single lashes if I ever want to put together my own lashes. So in this drawer here, I have my blushes and my setting powders. So I have Milani here. 
Wet n Wild, I dropped this one and tried fixing it with some alcohol, but I didn't have enough. So I definitely got to fix more of it. It's kind of crumpled, but you can still use them. So don't throw them away if you ever drop them. You can always fix them. Look it up on YouTube. I think you just put alcohol and re-stir it and then repot it. And then I have some e.l.f. blushes and a NARS blush. Wet n Wild, some Laura Mercier. This used to be like my favorite. And then I have a bunch of my MAC blushes here as well. This acrylic container for my blushes is from Amazon. And I have this NYX orange blush, a Maybelline blush. And then these are my setting powders here. So I have Laura Mercier, Kat Von D, Patrick Star, my Everyday Fit Me translucent powders. I really like these ones for my everyday wear. And then I have NYX, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Makeup Forever HD, and then I think this is MAC. Yeah. This is my prep and prime. So that's everything in this drawer. So in this drawer, I have a lot of my MAC Studio Fix powders. I have a bunch of them because they're all in different shades. And then I have a MAC Mineral Bronzer. This was in Sun Power. And then this is from MAC's Aquatic Collection. This is probably a really long time ago, but I really love the packaging. And honestly, I would probably still wear it. This is the Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And then back here, I also have another MAC bronzer. And then these are all the Studio Fix powders. Right here, I have my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, Makeup Forever Bronzing Fusion Powder, and then the Hula Benefit Contour Color. This one is great for your, a nose contour. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Color. This one is really nice when I'm tanned. And then I have the NYX HD Finishing Powders here. So these are the Ben Nye powders. Uh, this is great for under the eyes, baking. And then this is like an all over color. This is for more, I guess, um, a tanner skin. And then in this drawer, I tried my best to organize everything. This is like a nice bronzing finishing powder that has like a little highlight in it. And then I have my Physician's Formula down here, MAC Artist Couture, which is my favorite highlighter. And then I have the Amrezi highlighter. Beautiful. Don't mind that nick right there. I just tried opening it and holding the camera at the same time, so. My nail got in it. This is a uh, Tantastic from Milani. That's a really good highlighting color as well. And then I have my strobing liquid glows from L'Oreal and Maybelline. You can apply this under makeup or you can apply it over makeup. I have my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion. And then I have a lot of my MAC highlighters here. Becca highlighters, Champagne Pop, my favorite. Uh, Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo. I really liked the number two, I think it was. This was my favorite. I used to be obsessed with this one. This is the number two Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo. Um, and then I have Wet n Wild highlighters here as well. And then another Makeup Forever. I don't know why that's back there. Let's move that. Okay, so let's move on to the foundation drawer. Okay, I will let you guys know that I just love collecting foundation. I don't know why. So these are my Fenty Beauty Milani Wet n Wild. I really love this foundation um, from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is a really good foundation if you have oily skin. Sometimes my skin's too dry to wear this one, but when my skin is nice and oily, especially during the summer, I love this foundation. So 108 is like super dark shade. I use that when I'm like super tanned. Um, 104 obviously when I'm super pale. And then I also use the Maybelline 24 hour foundation um, and I get 220 is my shade. And then the Huda foundation. This one I believe is 310 Amoretti. And then this one is Tres Leches 320. I have the Hourglass foundation stick. This one is in sand. The NARS foundation, Stromboli. And then these are my absolute favorite everyday foundations. Um, just cause they're like not too matte and not too oily. So I have like a few shades of these ones. Um, this is the face and body. This is for like a good no makeup makeup look. And then the Match Master, good for the summertime. It has SPF 15, Pro Long Wear, Studio Fix. This is like one of my first favorite foundations. And then the Marc Jacobs foundation, very full coverage. So you have to make sure you blend it properly and just a little goes a long way with this product. And then the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation is really good, nice coverage. Um, and I always get a lot of compliments when I wear that one. The only thing is it does have flashback, but all these foundations that I have, like I don't have really anything bad to say about any of them. And then in this drawer, I have my concealers. So I have Revolution Makeup, Bare Minerals. This one's really good. It's very hydrating. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have a couple of those. This one's just in a darker shade. And then I have some contouring shade in the LA Girl Club box. And then I have my It Bye Bye Under Eye. I lost the lid, but that's really good for dark circles. 
And then obviously I have my MAC Pro Longwear. And then I have my Age Rewind from Maybelline. And then I also have my Maybelline Master, MAC Prep and Prime, Highlighter, Revolution Makeup. And I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the pot. And then in here I have my brow products and a lot of my mascaras. So this is all the Benefit brow products. And then a bunch of my primers. I actually don't really use primers anymore because I find my makeup still looks the same. But when I go out for like a night out, I definitely always try to use primer, especially because I have it. But yeah, that's what's in this drawer here. And then in here, I have a bunch of my pigments here. Um, press pigments, I guess, from L'Oreal, Stila, glitter. And then I think this is Urban Decay glitter, yeah. Urban Decay, Revlon, glitter sticks. This is Too Faced right here. And then I have some MAC Pressed Shadow. And then I have some Lit Cosmetics glitter there as well. This one is Beach Baby. This is one of my favorite glitters. And then I have the Fenty Beauty glitter liners. I also have the dark green. That one is in blue. Um, some Makeup Forever glitter back there. I think these are all from Inglot here. And then that's a good glitter base from Lit Cosmetics. And then I have all my dip brows from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it goes from light to dark over here. So I have taupe, ash brown, medium brown, or no, sorry. Taupe, soft brown, ash brown, medium brown, dark brown. I have two dark browns back there. So in this corner here, I have my Maybelline gel liner, Bobbi Brown. This is in blot here. Really good eyeliner. And then I have all my liquid liners. This last drawer is all for lips. So I have all my drugstore lipsticks back here and then I have a bunch of melt ones. I got their collection when they first came out with blue, space gray, black, green. I have all those crazy colors back here as well. And then I have a bunch more lip liners here and some like eyeliner bases here as well. And then some more MAC lipsticks that obviously don't fit over here. And then these are all my lip glosses. And then these are all my liquid lipsticks. So I also have these lip pots. I think these were just from school. So I keep these just in case I want to like make my own color away. So yeah, that's what's in this drawer here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's on top of my makeup storage. I have my favorite palettes here on display. And then I have my face lotion that I would use for the summertime under my foundation. It's from Tarte. And then I also have my MAC Fix Plus in matte and then the regular Fix Plus in the back there. And then I have these Aveeno lotions. I don't really like them, but I have them there. So I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of my favorite palettes from here. So this is one of my favorite palettes here. It's the Desi and Katie collaboration. This one unfortunately came damaged in the mail. So I didn't have time to repair it, but I can add some alcohol to that and just repot it. This Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. This one is a really gorgeous palette. The Huda Beauty Nude Palette. This one is also a really pretty palette. I have to use this one more often. And then the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Palette, really pretty. And then these palettes here, I just put them here for display, but I really like them as well. I always use this one, the Just Peachy Mattes Palette. And then I have the White Peach Palette, the Original Tartlet Palette, and then the Tartlet in Bloom Palette. So yeah, that's what I keep over here. Okay, so we're moving on to my vanity now. If you're wondering where my brushes are from, uh, Sigma, MAC, NYX. Elf, and I think I've gotten like Real Techniques brushes before, um, and then just some random miscellaneous ones. This is actually my favorite highlighter brush. This is the only brush that I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then all my lip pencils. So these are the ones that I always use because they're like mainly nudes and like I just know what colors these ones are. Um, these are my MAC lip liners and NYX lip liners. So I keep them here very close by. And then these are all my MAC lipsticks. My mirror. This is the newest collection from the Desi and Katie. So it was the same one as the palette there. And then I have their old collection. So you can definitely tell a difference. This is the new collection, which is like kind of like a darker sparkle. And then the rest is like more like a golden. These, This is the eyeshadow palette, which was my favorite when it came out. That's what it looks like. So I just keep them on top here in this container, obviously, because they're so pretty. This is my Tatcha Luminous Spray. I'm almost out. My Max um, Strobe Cream. My Daily Facial Cream. So the first drawer, I have all my Tarte concealers. So I, I think I start with Light Medium. It's Honey Light Medium. Light Neutral. I think I have two of the Light Neutrals. And then this is Sand. And then I keep some of my Dramatic and Everyday Lashes here. And then that's just like an extra pencil sharpener. And then here I have my Kylie Cosmetics and Cocoa Collection. 
collection. And then here I have my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. These are the Dose of Colors glosses. And then this is their, their lipsticks. Yeah, I really love their packaging. So I'll definitely keep them like out in the open so that people can see them. Um, so I keep that there. And then here I have my Milani liquid lipsticks that I have. Um, and then my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. And then I have here my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I remember I used to always buy liquid lipsticks from Sephora and then one day I went to Winners and I came across the liquid lipsticks so I bought one of these and I didn't realize I already had it um, but because it was Winners and it was like so cheap I ended up getting another one so I have those um, and then just one other gloss I have a Kylie Cosmetics um, liquid lipstick and then just an extra NYX one because all down here it's literally all NYX liquid lipsticks because I was obsessed with them when they first released these. But yeah, that's what's in there. Okay, so we pretty much covered everything on top here. We still got to go through this container here and then my drawer. So my drawer, I just keep a bunch of my extra brushes that, you know, don't go with the vibes here. And I use the dollar store containers for those. Some of them are dirty, so I have to clean those. And then I have, you know, my everyday products that I always use. So I have my Maybelline Fair Light powder, um, just a little mini Laura Mercier powder, my e.l.f. palette that I always use, the City Mini palette. I like to use that one a lot as well. This is the True Match um, blush that I like using from L'Oreal. Their powder, face powder. The Fenty Beauty setting powder. I like that one a lot. And this is one of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Master Strobe in Molten Gold over 100. And then I use their City Bronzer. This is the MAC Studio Fix powder that I put all over. This is my favorite bronzer. It's Give Me Sun. And then that's just like a concealer little palette that I have here to carve out my eyebrow. And this is like where I put my used lashes. So I have this little container. I know I'm a hoarder. So I have them all in here. Um, so I don't keep anything over here because this drawer doesn't open as far. So I can't even get in there if I could. So I have some Vaseline to keep my lips moisturized. These are like all my everyday concealers. I always change it up. So I have like literally some here. I don't even put them back anymore because I always change them up. Um, my everyday foundation that I always wear is the Maybelline. My beauty blender, favorite beauty blender. And then I have like a Kevin Aquan concealer. I use to carve out my brows. And then I use this MAC palette to carve out my lips because it's more like a skin tone. And then in here, I just have my mascara, my brow tools, um, some lash glue. This is the House of Lashes glue, and then I have the duo, some chopstick, some face shavers, some eyelash curlers, and some tweezers as well with some spoolies and some scissors in there. So yeah, this is my makeup drawer. So with my makeup drawer, I always put some paper towels underneath just to keep everything from getting dirty. And then I got this one from HomeSense, if you guys are interested. This is from HomeSense. And then I got this one, I think, from HomeSense as well. Or no, actually, I got this one from the dollar store. And and then these are dollar store containers. So yeah. So lastly is my palettes. Um, just on top of it here, I got this acrylic holder from Amazon like years ago and it's like for 60 lipsticks. This is when I was obsessed with MAC lipstick. I don't think I have enough to like fill only half of it. I don't ever use it so. Yeah, let me know if any of you guys are interested in that. And in these drawers here, I don't want to bore you guys. I'll just quickly go through what's in here. So I have this MAC mini palette. It's a beautiful purple palette. And then I have this Huda Beauty Obsessions in Coral. This is the Patrick Star Matte Collaboration. Really nice palette. Good everyday neutral matte palette from Too Faced. Milani. This is Maybelline Soda Pop. This is the Kylie Jenner Burgundy Palette. This is a really pretty palette. And these are all just my contour palettes. So I have NYX, Kat Von D, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is a mini Smashbox contour palette. And then over here I have a Morphe Brow Palette. This is an old Smashbox full exposure palette. I really like this one a lot. And then those are just random shadows that I kind of put together in a Z palette. These are some NYX pigments. I just came across these ones at Winners one day. I haven't actually tried them, but yeah, so that is what's in here. So this is the next drawer. I have these. This is a little concealer palette. I don't know where that's from. And then this is my Kryolan foundation palette. And then I just have these Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture and soft glam palettes. These are my Too Faced palettes. So this is chocolate bar. This is the semi-sweet chocolate bar. This is the sweet peach palette. And then these back here are the Urban Decay palettes. So I have one, two, and three. And then the last drawer, sorry if you see some little marks here, 
black eyeshadow really gets ya. So these are just palettes I had. Pure Beauty palettes. This is a really nice blush palette from Pure Beauty. This is a random contour palette from Pure Beauty. And then these are a bunch of Morphe palettes. This is the Morphe palette in 35C. This is a colorful one. This is really good if you're trying to do some creative looks. This is the 3502 palette. I really love this palette. This is the 350 palette. So it's just before the one that I showed you. It's a beautiful warm tone palette. And then this is the 35 w palette this one's really pretty and then this palette i had from the very beginning i remember when i started getting obsessed with makeup and my brother got this for me for christmas so i just keep it for memories that is all my palettes here so i wanted to show you guys what i use to clean my brushes so i mainly use sunlight dish soap and if i do something kind of quick on the spot i always use the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner this one's almost out and i just put in a little spray bottle use like a paper towel and clean my brushes on the spot and i also use this mat here from i think i got it from amazon but it's just like a brush mat and you just put it in your sink and it has these little stickers sorry it's a little wet you just just use your brushes, dip them in some cleaning soap, and then just scrub through on the mat, and then it will clean your brushes nicely, and then you just rinse them and your brushes are all clean. But I did wanna let you guys know I came across this glove from the dollar store, and it looks like this. So I haven't used it yet, but I'm curious to see how it will work with cleaning my brushes because I kinda like the idea of wearing a glove and using your hand. So yeah, um, that is everything that I wanted to let you guys know today. All right, you guys, that is my makeup collection. Hopefully I film this properly for you guys. All right, you guys, so that's the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know if you guys want me to do a room tour if you guys are interested in seeing that. Cause I know I like watching these type of videos. I like seeing how people organize and what they use to organize, where they got their furniture from and stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.